Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I do want to speak about uh, vetting your partner, whether you're a guy or girl, vetting them for longer term relationships. Now, when you initially meet someone, you're dating, uh, you probably don't want to do that. You're probably going to just go with what you have in hand, whether it's a girl or a guy. And of, of course, you're becoming the best version of yourself. So generally speaking, you're going to attract the best version you attract who you are, generally speaking. So again, as you're becoming a best version of yourself, developing yourself, you'll attract some pretty decent people around you. So as you're dating uh, these, these people, generally speaking, you won't be doing any in-depth uh, vetting of them. I mean, part of the dating process is the vetting process as well, more organically, if you want to call it. Now, uh, as you know that uh, my background as a VIP security and investigation, firm so uh, I have uh, operated and done a lot of due diligence for very large companies vetting other companies to do business with so again that's very important in a business environment but I think these days it's very very important uh, on a personal level as well and I have uh, done I've been uh, definitely uh, retained uh, for that purpose as well but in the past so I've vetted individuals as well uh, for partnerships as well as for just one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, business relationships so as, as long as you know as well as the, the corporations so I have a lot of experience and there's a lot of reason to do your due diligence particularly today's today's world so if uh, you decide to make a longer-term relationship with the person that you're seeing girl or guy then I do advise uh, I do definitely Say, hey, do your due diligence. Make sure this person is the person they say they are. Because people can fool you for months and even years on. So particularly if you're a very trusting person. So if you decide to bring this person into your life, particularly if you're a, a high value individual, uh, you definitely want to do that. Because uh, depending on where you're taking your life, where you're going, you don't want any sort of bad publicity to surround you. So I always recommend uh, doing that. Now, I mean, just for your everyday person, if you're going to bring somebody in your life for longer term, potential marriage, definitely potential uh, uh, long term relationship, so anything like that, uh, definitely start, uh, you know, digging into their past. Now, you don't have to notify them about that. It's just something you could do on your own. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of public records that you could uh, uh, you can uh, receive this information from. So. Uh, just keep that in mind that it's okay to do that if you're de if you're deciding on the I only say only if you're deciding to bring them into your life very seriously so uh, again there's a lot of information out there on persons again I mean if uh, you want to find out you know if this person's telling the truth about you know their financial wherewithal uh, homes that they own real estate uh, any type of uh, uh, information you need regarding past relationships are they truly single are they separated are, are they uh, truly divorced that's all very very important if you're gonna bring them into your life particularly for marriage because a marriage is a is a legal contract so uh, definitely want to know what you're getting yourself into now this is for guy or girl so even though you are and you've attracted the best version of the opposite sex or the same sex it's important to vet these individuals for uh, longer term again if they're going to be moving into your home you're moving into theirs you want to make sure that their character matches their their lifestyle that they've presented to you so it's nothing wrong doing that i always recommend doing that and again uh, you do you do not want to mix up with a person that does not have a good credit score that uh, does not have the finances that they say they they have i mean they could be renting the house that they're in they never owned it or shared with you that they've owned a home the cars could be rented or leased again you know it's easy to do in america so uh, america again as i mentioned uh, in other videos is that uh, america is a very superficial country and it's definitely very very easy here to put up a front and people do it all the time so uh, but again it's all about minimizing and diminishing your risks in any relationship or any business relationship as well and that's why there's nothing wrong vetting and having somebody professionally vet these individuals if you choose not to do it yourself so keep that in mind 
I always recommend vetting. It comes from a good place. It's not a bad place uh, when one wants to do that on you. So uh, if anybody ever does uh, confront you, anybody in, in your uh, life, anybody that you're dating or have been dating very closely, that's very close to you and said they've vetted you or, or did a background on you, well, hey, you know, say thank you because, uh, of course, you've been always truthful to them, right? You haven't misrepresented yourself who you are as a uh, person. So accept it and be very willing. Again, if you choose to do that for some, on somebody that you've been dating, I'm going to bring them uh, closer, a little bit closer to you, then go ahead and do it. I think it's absolutely important. I mean, you do not want to bring anybody in today's world. is so changing. I mean, it's so important to have a, have a good credit score, uh, not uh, being in huge debt because, you know, once you bring somebody in, you become liable. If you marry them particularly, you become liable for all their other uh, obligations that they have. So, because, you know, marriage is a legal contract if you actually married, married them. So keep that in mind. Hopefully this helps you guys provoke some thought. Always do your own homework. Again, vetting is okay. Always recommend vetting, partnerships, friendships. Again, particularly if you're a high value individual, always vet these people that uh, you want to get closer to. Make sure they're not going to bring any sort of detriments or any negativity into that life that you've worked so hard for building. Again, that's the last thing you, you need to do because it's hard to recover. It uh, takes time and pro a process to build a great life and it just takes seconds or minutes to uh, ruin it. So it's okay, go ahead and uh, hey be positive and approach any relationship with positivity and you will find a good life out there for you guys so smash that like button comment below and subscribe to my channel we'll see you guys again